All right, now I'm going to look at the cancellation property. So if I have y equals e to the x and y equals ln x, these are inverse functions. Therefore, they cancel under composition. We use that if you have f inverse, the inverse function, you apply it to f, those cancel out and just give x. There is issues of domain that we, and range that we should look at, but let's not get into that. You have to look at each problem, maybe, each, each, each uh, particular situation. So, therefore, we have, if I, use, if I compose these two functions, if I have ln and e to the x, ln and e cancel out. If I have e to the ln x, e and ln cancel out. This is the cancellation property. I sort of feel like stopping there, but I should use the general case. I, you know, I like using logarithm, a natural log all the time. But I could have log base b, b for base, I suppose. b to the x is equal to x. b to the log base b of x is equal to x. But natural log is really good.